We're testing the owl to see if for whatever reason we cannot be fully on campus, if the owl could help moving classes forward. So it's different options and even for students who are in remote regions, today that you don't recognize possibly. Uh, Narusha Baru, who's a biology teacher here at Vanier, but also works with the Pedagogical Support and Innovation Office. And she's the one who's been working quite hard with the OWL camera, which I don't know if you can see. Uh, basically, there's a camera in front of me that's allowing uh, you guys online to see the students in class. And obviously the students in class can see their, their peers at home uh, on Zoom. So we also have Ronald and he's here, he's recording us today because you're basically the first class of students that we're testing this on. Uh, we're really excited to kind of run this. So how are both your experience with the OWL or blended learning? Well, personally, I absolutely love online school to the point where I'm actually doing online for university afterwards. So this opened up a whole new thing for me. And this being a blended class like this, it didn't change much for me in the sense that I still got the information. I was had access to the people. I still had access to the screen. So I think it's just great because everybody gets the information that they need in the format that they want. The first thing I heard about it was that it hoots when you turn it on, and I think that's probably my favorite. But I think I'm the opposite of Demetra, where I really thrive in a classroom setting. So it was really great to actually be able to come in for this, because I don't think I would have gotten as much out of this particular session if I was at home. So there's days where, you know, those really bad winter days, things like that, I could just imagine how incredible this could be, because for those that are driving in and are a little bit further out, they still, you know, don't have to leave four hours before their class, and they're still getting their class without the stress, without the danger you can you can do so much with it and i think this is that's the positive of it is that nobody's missing out yeah exactly i think that it caters to lots of different populations i mean i know a lot of people hope for a cancelled class but if you want to learn and you're keen on learning then that's always an option the type of class that we were doing today there were i would say the same four people that were four or five people that were talking that's generally the maximum of participation that you're going to get. So I don't I didn't see a big difference in the in terms of participation. I think even if we were having a lecture, like I would still have to interrupt the teacher. The only difference I think maybe I could put up my hand so she would notice that I have to stop her versus on Zoom like yeah, you could hit the raise hand, but if they're sharing their screen, they only see five people. Um, but that's a hypothesis, you know? Like I didn't actually n notice a difference. Even in class when we're all there, it's generally the same people who are participating. And it's not that the others aren't listening. It's not that they're not paying attention and they're not there. They're not doing their work. It's just the type of people and students that they are. But then online, it's the same. It's the same principle. But I, I, I don't know if it I don't know if it, it's going to change if just because it's, it's blended. Well, maybe it change isn't what we're looking for or what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. Because like those four people were still able to communicate with each other. That's a great thing. Yeah. True. That's true. Yeah. Thank you again. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to give it a try. I want to hear it too. Uh,